Hello, it's uh, yet another in a sporadic series of things that I've found that are kind of cool. This one concerns keyframing beyond the range of a clip. Um, let's say you wanted to keyframe this clip, any sort of move, um, position, scale, let's do scale. So you make your keyframe there, your first keyframe, but you'd like it to be scaling up before you know, before the clip hits, otherwise it just kind of starts here. So what you do is you'd pop it out, drag it out here, put your keyframe here, open the animation, and uh, and do your thing. However, it turns out you don't need to do that. As long as you have the clip highlighted, selected, you can go back to here, Put your scale keyframe, change the scale, and then when you play, it's already in motion. And actually, if you were to pop this out, you would see that there's the keyframe. Now, if you wanted to add, if it was an opacity thing, you wanted to add a curve or something, clearly you would have to, you know, open it up like that. But it's kind of cool. You can do it with anything, any of these parameters, anything that's keyframable, you can, as long as you select the clip, you can go back here into space <laughs> and keyframe it. Same deal with audio. Um, I don't know, I want a volume change. Start here, end here, and I'd like to start it here. And so I go ahead and you'll see the audio line move down. I don't know why you'd want to do this with audio. It's more likely you do it with video effects, video transforms that you want to be happening when you hit the hit the shot. So anyway, there it is. You can uh, set keyframes on parts of a clip that you cannot see. <laughs> um, if you knew that, I didn't. And it's a pretty cool thing. Okay, that's it. Hope you find it useful.